Welcome to this tutorial. Today we will address a common issue encountered when uploading uh, MOH files to CUCM. We often see this error message in version 12.5. So when we go to uh, Media Resource and we want to try to upload uh, our MOH file, like here. we will face an error message. So let me upload my file. Okay. So you might face the error message um, said the WAV file could not be translated by the audio translator application. Yeah, this is the message. This is due to a predefined restriction in CUCM. Before we proceed with changing any setting, it's crucial to enable auditing for security reasons. For example, if the MOH file contains any malware that attempts to modify critical areas in CUCM, we need to monitor it closely. Enabling audit helps us keep track of any suspicious activity, so it's highly recommended. For this reason, we need to go to Unified Serviceability, and from Tools, we have to enable Audit Log. For the next step, we have to go to CUCM CLI interface. Now I'm going to check the OS restriction setting. Uh, when you use the command uh, utils uh, OS secure status, we can check the status of the security. We can check the status of the system and the current mode is enforcing. This is a default mode. So, and this is the main reason that we cannot upload our MOH files. So to resolve this, we have changed the status from enforced to permissive. And now we are going to do this. Utils, OS, secure permissive. Okay, now we can double check again. Utils OS secure status, and now the current mode is uh, permissive. So let's go back to uh, CUCM interface. And we attempt one more time, upload the MOH file, media resource, MOH, upload file. We select our files here. We have two of them. We select our file and upload file. After successfully uploading the MOH file, it's important to revert the OS restriction setting back to enforce to maintain the security. We do this by entering command utils OS secure enforce and now is enforcing and we status command, we can double check, it's now enforcing, and we are secure again. Okay, so uh, the last thing that I want also to mention here is uh, how we can view our uh, uh, audit result. So first to do that, we need to have the RTMT application. It's, um, you can install it on Windows and Linux. Unfortunately, we don't have it for, um, Mac OS. So you have to choose either from Windows or Linux only. So I'm going to download the Windows version. Okay. Open the application. Now we have to provide the CUCM credentials. Okay. Now on the tools menu, we have to select trace and lock central. From here, we can download or browse our audit log. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to me on my LinkedIn or YouTube channel. Take care and have a good day.